Yeah, so many people have been guessing as to how long it will take to rebuild the Fern Hollow Bridge, and the truth of the matter is that they really don't know. Now, PennDOT is overseeing the project and the $25.3 million earmarked by the United States Department of Transportation to rebuild the bridge. But as far as predicting how long it will take, PennDOT says that there are too many moving variables to make a prediction with any degree of accuracy. But a lot's gonna depend upon what type of bridge we choose. And honestly, there's many supply chain issues right now uh, with, with a lot of the uh, materials that they need to rebuild this bridge. So we're gonna try to work with uh, uh, you know, the designers and the contractors and try to come up with what's the, the best, most efficient way we can build this, this bridge as expeditiously as possible. And that is PennDOT's District 11 Executive Cheryl Moo Siriani. She says it normally takes three to four years to rebuild the bridge under these circumstances. However, that federal emergency money is now available in less than a week of the collapse. And that means it won't take as long as three years. At least that's what they hope. And at the same time, they don't want to guess as to how quickly the bridge can be rebuilt. PennDOT says the emergency declarations by Governor Tom Wolf and Mayor Ed Ganey helped speed up the availability of that emergency money. That that bipartisan infrastructure law makes its way back to Southwest PA, the city of Pittsburgh, yeah. to help us with our bridges. We should never yeah. see what we seen the other day again. We have to make sure that our bridges are together. And that was Mayor Ed Ganey, also of note tonight. PennDOT says there are more than 2,300 bridges in Allegheny County. And of that number, 11% of those bridges are categorized as being in poor condition. Reporting live, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.